Do you see that? The crab in all his glory, his little eyes are over there. So let's give it a try. Damn it! <laughs> snack time i'm currently on break from the kindergarten um the lunch break and i'm back home because i live five minutes away which is really convenient um and i thought i'd try these snacks since i do have kind of a cold and so many headaches right now that i thought maybe this is kind of with vitamin c i don't know if it is but you know let's try this it's supposed to be like orange jelly or like clementine i i can't read the title just open it and take one. Oh, there are multiple things what is this oh do you get a toy with this oh because i thought they're all jellies because see it's like a jelly cup and there's a tiny slice of what is that clementine mandarin but let's open the toy first. Oh, I got a little car. What am I gonna do with this? Hot racing power. I got a little car. <laughs> I didn't even know this came with toys. Okay, can you see that? It's a little race car. So the snack is definitely not for adults. We know that now. Let me get a little teaspoon and open this up. I can't get myself dirty. I thought it'd be jelly. Do I have to put it in the fridge? Is that... Am I wrong? Oh, it is jelly. It's just the top is kind of wet. Yeah, it is jelly, see? Um, let me... Scoot some jelly. It's very weird. It's like no taste but slight taste at the same time. The fruit tastes of nothing. I thought it'd be a little acidic. You know how usually clementines or mandarins are, but this is not. This is like straight up sweet. It's fine. It's not good. I'd give it like um like a f four out of ten. I don't know if I'm being too generous. It's not bad. It's just not good. God, I have so many of them. Not the best snack. I won't buy that again. I have so much of it right now. I will put the rest in the fridge. Maybe they're better when they're cold. And when I try them cold, I'll come back and tell you what I think about them cold. Because right now, at room temperature, they don't taste very good. Mm -mm. It's a new day. I, I have to crunch like this. And it's a new day and I've had this in the fridge for Overnight, I think, or a day, I don't remember, but let's open it up and see if it's better cold or if it's just the same. Okay, it's a little, I mean, it's still got liquid on top. Okay. Mm. I think it's slightly better cold but it's still not very good. Yeah. I have so many left of these. <laughs> I don't even know if this gives you any amount of uh, vitamin C or D. It's just, I think this is just sugar with water and a bit of gelatin, but it's whatever. I also have a normal clementine or mandarin. So as soon as I, Finish this, I'm eating this because this is not good. Mm -mm. Never buying this again. I went out today and I bought this iced tea, I want to say. Um, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I just pointed at the picture and they're like, okay. Uh, this was three yuan, okay? That's like nothing. Uh, this was like a, an offer because all the, their other drinks were like a yuan, but I still think that's insanely cheap for a drink. Usually these are so much more expensive. And this plastic thing is so good. It's like actual good plastic, not the um, 
the recyclable kinds they always give you. So let's try it. I just look how beautiful this is. So pretty. And they also have some things at the bottom, but I don't know what they are. Let's see. Mmm. This is really good. I wanted to find lemons to buy so much, but I don't know why, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'll have to look again, I guess, but all like the fresh produce markets and everything, they didn't have lemons. So either they didn't have lemons or the lemons they have here look not like the ones I'm used to because I couldn't find any. This drink, it's like a nine out of 10. I don't really like the, the things at the bottom. I don't really know what they are, but the drink in itself, fantastic. I love it so much. Yeah, love it, 100%. We'll definitely go to that store again and try all their drinks because they're very, very cheap and they're delicious. And maybe it's like a dumpling place and they also make drinks, but I think tomorrow I might go there to maybe get the dumplings and also have the drink, like a different drink. Cause I also saw, maybe it was passion fruit or dragon fruit, the drink, it looked amazing uh, in the picture, but we'll see. But this nine out of 10, really, really like it. Let's also open the lemon snack. What time is it? I really need to hurry to be gone. Okay, oh, I didn't show you. This is like a lemon snack. Again, no idea what the name is, but this is how it looks. Can you see that? It looks beautiful. What? Can you tell I'm exhausted? Oh, I don't want to eat this. This is not what I thought it is. This is basically dried slices of lemon. Well, dried, maybe like candied. It's just lemon slices. Oh, okay. Let's take this, the tinier one, because this is too big. Do you see that? I, I don't want to eat that. Damn it. This is the thing about snacks that you don't know. You don't know what you're going to get. It's beautiful, but I don't... Okay. It's candied lemon. It's fine. I don't really like candied um, fruit. Even in like panettone or things like that. I don't like when they have the um, um, the peel of like the orange or lemon or ugh. it's bitter. But the not like the nice kind of bitter. It's God. Now I have this too. Oh, what is this? This is like um a two out of ten. I really don't. Mm. They're fine. I just don't understand how you could just take one out and munch on it. I am sick, so I should probably eat these. Though I'm not sure how much sugar they have to be considered healthy. I can't read that, but. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe I can make some tea and drop it in the tea, but oh. Two snacks, two disappointments. I'll see you next time. Bye. God, that's awful. Welcome to the next snack that's not really a snack. It's a drink because I really want to drink tea. Um, this is, if my translation was right from Google Translate, this is green orange puer tea. Um, this company has a lot of variety of tea and they say that it's like zero calories, which is great, but also it's it's tea. I guess you could add sugar. A lot of drinks have unnecessary sugar. That That is true. Fully forgot about that. Um, there are people who go to Dunkin' Donuts and get like 16 shots of sugar, but this is the tea, it's such a beautiful color. Look at that. Oh, it's just like drinking really fine whiskey. I wouldn't know because I don't drink it, but I assume this is the color they're going for. So beautiful, okay.
Hmm. It's a really nice tea. It's like... It tastes like tea you would cold steep yourself at home and that's the best kind of tea. I mean, there's clearly no sugar in here. I love that. I don't drink my tea with sugar. I like it. Just the tea. Um, I love it. I... If you're at home and you have the time, just steep some tea overnight and you'll have the same thing and you can just put it in a bottle. But if you're up and about, you want something to drink, you don't want something sugary, this is the perfect thing. Uh, or if you're like at a restaurant, uh, a bar, uh, whatever. I don't think people drink tea at bars. If you're like at a pub or if you're eating something and you want something to drink, but you don't really want water, but you don't want anything sweet or alcoholic, this is an amazing option. I genuinely really love this. Would definitely buy that again. Will definitely buy that again. I will try other kinds as well because they have such a huge variety. So I look forward to it. I'm so glad I tried it. I love this so much. So definitely recommend. I just finished making my soup and I was like ready to make my drink and I tried this. It's a new drink that I bought. It's like a lemon tea. Can you see that? And then there's this guy who I don't know, probably some celebrity. Um, and I think my neighbors are home, but anyway. And I prepare my lemon. See, I got my lemons here and I was like, let me put some lemons since I'm sure this isn't going to actually be like a lemonade. It's more going to be like a tea, but I tried it and it's so good. I took like a sip. It is like really good lemon tea. It's, it's more sweet than I would like it. It says that it has lime flavor, um, but I love it. I genuinely love it. So <laughs> I don't know if this is another like part of the snack thing, but I really enjoyed this one and I'll definitely try the other flavors they have because they have a bunch of other flavors. So. I was pleasantly surprised by this. I didn't even prepare my camera to record it because I was like, I'm not putting this in the snack video. Like, what's, what's the point? Is it just going to taste like the other tea? And no, I was surprised. So I really like this one. It is currently 11 p.m. on a Friday and I really want to sleep, but I can't because I have to teach tomorrow because of the um, autumn festival, um, the moon festival in China. Um, I, I will have... Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off, so that means I have to work on Saturday. So right now I'm preparing the classes for all the children. I did three, I still have two, I am exhausted. So I thought I need a pick me up. So let's try one of the snacks I bought. This is this one. I probably should have Googled the translation before I started this. Let me see. Okay, so it says that it's milk chocolate, but it refuses to translate the name. So. I don't know how to even pronounce it. It's basically mushroom shaped chocolate. Um, as you can see, I got the yellow one. Um, I'm pretty, there were like three boxes, different colors. Pretty sure the colors only mean the, the things you collect at the back, but whatever, let's try it. Cause one is basketball, the other is archery and weightlifting. What do I have? This is basketball. Yeah, I'm pretty, I, th I thought there was like volleyball too. Maybe there's like a ton of them because, you know, make kids collect them and make a ton of profit. So you open them. Oh, that is so cute. I don't know what they're saying, but look. Can you see that? That's such good packaging. And these things come off so you can play with them. Uh, and then you have the chocolate over there. That is so cute. Oh, look, you get, you get like a mini arena or game. Did you see that? I love packaging that actually thinks about the kids, even though it is a marketing strategy. I just, I love to see it. Uh, so let's try this next. This way. It's so tiny, but it is for children, I guess, so. Ooh. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. If this would only focus, there we go. Do you see that? The little mushroom, it's so cute. Look at the, please, please focus. There are so many of them. 
Do you see that? Do you see those? All those mushrooms. They are so cute. Look at that. I love that. It's so cute. Okay, let's actually try the chocolate. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. What is there not to love? It's basically milk chocolate with um biscuits. It's nothing special, but it is really good milk chocolate and good biscuits. Like crunchy, sweet. The milk chocolate is a bit sweet, but I guess all chocolate is when it's with milk. Um, this reminds me a lot of, you know those, um, they're like those Nutella pods that have a compartment with chocolate and the other with the sticks of like cookies or um, I don't I don't really know what they are and you take the stick and dip it in Nutella this is exactly what this tastes like but like without the fun though they are beautiful like how can you not love that imagine baking a cake and making it like autumn themed or forest themed and you put these all around the cake that would be so cute so cute so <laughs> I love these. I will definitely buy them again. It's finally time for a snack because I, I just really want a snack. This is the snack I'm trying today. Again, it does not have... It does not have anything written in English. But I have seen these before. I just never tried them, ever. Um, so let's try them. There should be two in here. So let's see. Oh, yes, there are two. See, there's two. Oh, they have such nice pictures on top. This is one of them. Do you see the picture? So cute. And this is the other one. It's like a, a family picture. I don't know what's with the pictures. Are you supposed to like collect them or read the message? or Because this looks like the same person, kind of. I don't know. But let's try this one and see. They're both the same. It's just... Why is the lighting so bad? It's just the picture that is different. Okay. It's so soft. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. I love this. Mmm. This is how it looks inside. Can you see that? I don't know if it's focusing, but it's basically two like cakey biscuits. And in the middle, there's this, it's like marshmallow fluff. It's, it's delicious. I love this. I'd give it like, um, let me see. <laughs> mm. Nine out of 10. It's really good. I like it. What's not to like about this? Mm. Really like it. So glad. Because the, the last two snacks weren't good at all, and I'm like, thank you for having this be good. So, this was the other snack. So good. Definitely buy it again. Let's try another snack that, again, it's not a snack, but I still want to really try it. I bought the tea. It's like ginseng ginger health tea. And this is the funniest thing, because this is like the most normal packaging. But the same company had two other things like two other packets of tea and one of them was female beauty something uh the description of the tea and the other one was i never remember but it was just as ridiculous but i got this one it's with ginger and ginseng apparently obviously you should have what does it say okay ginger no ginseng ginger dates tea that's what it is it's so Let's open it up. And look how beautiful they are. There's, is this sugar? Because there's so much sugar in these. Do you see this? Please focus on this. Do you see this? It's so pretty. It's like individually wrapped. I do not have a tea strainer, unfortunately. So I will have to let it steep in... I think I'll let it steep in the pot actually because it's quite a bit. How much does this make? Because I don't think it's only uh, a cup. I really don't think it's only a cup. 
But it's so beautiful, look at that. Oh God, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll let you know how it is once I try it out. So let's see. Okay, the tea steeped and I found out that there's a life here. I didn't know that was a thing. That changes so much. <laughs> But back to the tea. This is it. Look, wait, this is it. Look how pretty. I did use a bag for like two cups when it says on the package to use one bag for a cup, but that doesn't matter because I thought it would have been too strong otherwise. So we'll try it. And if it's mellow, that's on me, just so you know. But let me figure out how to pour that thing into the cup because I always spill it. Um, this time it has things in it and I do not have a ladle, so I'll be right back. Okay, my camera is balanced in the most ridiculous way possible. You can't see it, but it is. Let's try the tea. I think it cooled down enough for me to be able to try it. So let's go. The, ta the smell isn't the most pleasant one. Like from a personal preference, not my favorite smell. I, I wouldn't pick it if I smelled it first, but let's see. It's nice. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like when you drink it, there's no taste in like the front of your mouth, but there is taste like here towards more like the back of your mouth. I don't know how that's possible, but it's really nice. It's really warm. It is, it's like warming you from the inside, but not because of the heat of the actual liquid but because of the uh, spices used in the tea. Mm, it's really nice. I also read on the list of the ingredients on the back. Let me bring it. I read on the back that it also says the ingredients. I was just in too much of a hurry when I bought it to bother looking at the back because they never do. But this time they say the ingredients in English as well. So thank you for that. Um, ingredients, crystal sugar, ginseng, ginger, red dates, barley, roselle, medlar, black tea, and licorice. And when I read licorice, I was so worried <laughs> because licorice is such an overpowering taste that is just, it's, it can be a lot. And I personally, I'm fine with licorice, but there is also licorice I don't like. Like, not all licorice is the same to me. I, it depends on what kind of sweet it's in. I can't eat it if it's not in sweet. I'm glad you can't really taste the licorice that much. I would buy this tea again. I do really, really enjoy it. It's really good. It's actually nice. The more you drink it, the more you drink it, the nicer it is. It's the evening, my hair is all wet like a dog because I just took a bath and <laughs> Right now I want some snacks, so I got two, and these are also going to be the last two for this video. Um, but let me show you what I have. First, let's start with a normal one. <laughs> I have these ones. I have tried them previously. If this thing focuses, please focus. Okay, do you see that? It's like the exact same thing I had before, except these are pink and they should be with strawberry. Um, and then I have something else, but... I'm leaving that for last. So let's try these ones. Come on, please open nicely. There we go. Last time I ate every single one of them in one sitting. I would like for that to not happen now. Um, but you know, <laughs> um, this is the packaging, it's so flipping cute, but, ooh, they got like games and stuff. Oh, they got math problems. They got math problems in chocolate. I don't know how to feel about that, but let's try them out. Immediately as I opened it, there's that artificial smell of strawberry that you can tell very well. Oh yeah, it's like strawberry and yogurt. Is this with yogurt? Maybe it's with cream? Because I do see the thing in the strawberry. Um, I do smell some yogurt in here. I don't know why, but 
they're less pink than I thought they would be. Do you see that? This one's kind of crooked. Let me let me find you a better one. Maybe they're all crooked. <laughs> Th these are imperfect strawberries, but let's try. Hmm. I can taste yogurt more than I can taste strawberry and the ones with chocolate were definitely much much better these are fine they're just you can taste the artificial strawberry it kind of, it kind of has a weird um, taste I don't particularly love it I'll give this a I don't know a six out of ten it's a bit harsh but the strawberry is just not doing it and the next snack and the last one I want to try today. Ta -da! Can you see this? I pray that these are focusing. Can you see them? They're tiny crabs. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, look at these. Um, these are small crabs. I don't. Let me Google Translate what they say. So this says, "Oh, it's spicy." Okay, this says, selected from the sea, crafted with ingenuity, Hyun spicy crab, private bells, heat, delicious, stimulating flavor tea. I don't, I, you know, the translator is trying his best. Um, and then at the bottom it says, it's a company uh, name, it's like Quindao Hai Fuxing Food Company LTD. Uh, so let's try them. Oh, they're spicy. I don't know about that. Oh, they have like a little tray, except a lot of them escaped from the tray. See, there's like, oh, I want to show you, but there's like a little tray in here, but the tray isn't doing much. I don't know what the tray is for. Okay, let's take one. I brought chopsticks. <laughs> For this, because I just took a bath. I don't want to get all sticky. Okay, let's try this one. Do you see that? The crab. Do you see that? The crab in all his glory. His little eyes are over there. So let's give it a try. Hmm. Yeah, it's spicy. But other than that, Oh, I don't like this. Oh God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Definitely not my thing. Oh God. This is not what I expected. The taste is still lingering. Oh, in the beginning, it was very, tasteless and then it goes sweet from whatever they put in here and then the spice hits you and it's still quite tasteless and then at the end is like boom the taste is all there and it's very fishy but also I don't know I expected it to be a little meatier but this is very shell forward like the shell is the only thing you can really taste there's some sesame seeds in here as well. They don't really do much. It's just, mm -mm. there's like a one out of 10. Will not buy again, like, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm so sad, I wanted to enjoy these, god damn it. I guess I'll just stick to chocolate for now, but this was the last snack. I still have a lot of them. I, <laughs> I'll probably end up throwing them away because they're not good. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Even if I cook it somehow, I don't think I can cook it in any way that I can eat it. So it's like, ugh. Oh. But I'm so sad that the last snack is not good. Let me have a, a little strawberry mushroom. Mm. The strawberry with the crab does not go. I can still feel the crab. It's terrible. Mm -mm. 
But it was what it was. Let me seal this back because it will smell the whole thing. But this was the snack video. I will make multiple ones. Like there are so many snacks in China. I want to try so many of them, but I also do have to temper myself because I will gain so much weight if I buy them all at once and try them. It will be ridiculous. My health would also not thank me for it. So this was the first video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you tried any of the snacks I tried in this video or drinks, please let me know. Um, I did get a lot of good ones. Like the majority that I tried this video were really good ones. I particularly like the um, the black like cakes. I did end up buying a bigger box of those. So I have it. In reserve um, and I really like the mushroom ones but the chocolate kind they tasted exactly like Nutella things that you dip in um, love those so the drinks were also great and this was it for this video please give it a like please comment please subscribe do all that stuff um, there are a lot of videos coming <laughs> now that I've moved here and I hope I'll see you again so bye bye I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls